Priya mwitera mbere ya yimyuga professions mwitera mbere habamo ibice byinshi habamo kubanza gushyiraho umwuga ugashyiraho amategeko awushyiraho gashyiramo abakozi bakora eh harangiza hagakurikira ubushakashatsi burebana nibigize uwo mwuga naba gukoreramo ariko gaba harabanje amashuri abantu bigamo bakarangiza bakaba abanyamwuga bo muri uwo mwuga iyo rero bigezaho eh aba bantu baba barakoze imirimo itandukanye abashakashatsi abanditsi abarimu baza kaminuza eh abanyamategeko bikorera kugiti cyabo bababuranira bunganira ababurana cyangwa ababuranira abandi abacamanza bari mu mirimo bandi bakora indi mirimo mu bushinja cyaha mu bugenza cyaha nahandi bahura na mu kazi kabo bahura n'ibintu byinshi cyane bigenda byungura umwuga bakabikoraho ubushakashatsi bakabikoraho bakabihuriraho nk'ama komite bikagenda byungura umwuga iyo babyanditse iyo rero batarabyandika dufa dufite icyuho cyuko ibyo bitekerezo by'abashakashatsi by'abanyabwenge bandi bagiye bahura ni mu kazi bagiye bahura nabyo mu kazi birabura umuntu wese abafite ibyo ikindi buriya intego ishinga amategeko ishyiraho amategeko tukayakurikiza twese ariko muri ayo mategeko amategeko atubera ishingiro atubera igikorwa kibanze ariko kuyasoma kuyakoresha kuyakurikiza kugi impaka kucyavuze uko hari ubwo tujye impaka tukavuga ngo yingiye ngo icyashatse kuvuga niki ibyo byose nyuma y'imyaka myinshi bivamo ubundi bwenge bushobora no gutuma dusubira mu ya mategeko kongera kuyongeraho agaciro kandi ubwo mubone mu mategeko asubira mu nteko akongerwamo izindi ngingo zitahozemo akongerwamo ibindi bitayahozemo bi ashingiyeho nuko aba yarageze mu hanze agakoreshwa n'abayakoresha noneho hakagenda hubakwa ubwenge hubakwa ubushakashatsi bundi abantu bakabona ko bakeneye iri tegeko kurigeza kurundi rwego so ni 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 ubwanditsi bukenewe kugira ahantu uhuriza hamwe ibitekerezo by'abanyabwenge bashakashatsa abarimu byose biri muri uyu mwuga wacu kugira ngo ababisoma aho bari hose mu kazi kabo barimo bibafashe kunoza neza akazi kabo what's the importance of such initiatives in the judicial reform system of Rwanda and what gaps are they filling the the importance uh, there is a lot of importance one um, research and writing informs uh, uh, growth in the profession it, it is the, the legal profession is a profession that is basically uh, hinged on research on publication on analysis on on, on experience and then bring this uh, uh, accumulated knowledge together in journals and these journals will inform uh, stakeholders at different levels, people who are working, uh, using the laws to deliver justice, people who are uh, reading the laws to, to reform them. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's hugely important. Now, at what point does it fit in our journey? Uh, from 1994, we haven't had this journal yet. And, but we have been doing things. We have been establishing the institutions, we've been establishing the law, we've been hiring people to work there, we've been uh, delivering justice to, to, to citizens, we've been training in the law schools across the country. So uh, it was probably time that now, with the benefit of uh, an increasing number of professionals, professors at universities, 
leaders at different levels in their uh, individual and uh, collective uh, professional capacities. Now it's time to tap into the knowledge they have, uh, so we put together these kinds of uh, uh, journals so that people uh, can read and get better informed. Now, the gaps uh, that this kind of journal fills, uh, it's basically one major gap because if it is not there, then you don't have it. You don't know what people think about uh, law enforcement. You don't know what people think about uh, all the different kinds of, uh, of topics in, uh, of, of, of concern in the country. You don't know what people think about tax laws. You don't know what people think about legal medicine. You don't know what people think about uh, abortion and, 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 and uh, uh, contraception. You don't know what people, you know, there are all sorts of laws uh, that are out there that we use and people have opinions about them. Stakeholders who use them every day uh, in the courts, in the prosecutions, in the investigations, in the, uh, academia, those who use them every day develop certain opinions about them. Then there is an international scene. Where do we stand in the world, in the East African community? What does the East African community law, how does it relate to us in Rwanda? Now, when you read these, these kinds of journals, uh, increasingly uh, they will be producing articles to help people understand certain key things that help us all to get informed uh, where we are headed or where we've just been or what is the, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the gap or critique in a, in a specific area. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Uh, yeah, let me first uh, introduce myself as uh, your colleague has uh, uh, proposed. My name is uh, Dr. Etienne Ruvivana. I am a senior lecturer at the School of Law at the University of Rwanda. We work in partnership with the ILPB. I have been selected as uh, someone to lead the process to, to have uh, this journal published. So I'm the chief editor of this uh, Rwanda Law Journal. And um, yeah, that's uh, about me uh, in brief. Uh, coming to your question, uh, what are the challenges uh, we have encountered uh, through the whole process? The first one was that, as we said before, uh, people, this is, uh, as we said, uh, you know, as I said in my presentation, uh, since 1994, we haven't had such kind of journal which would have a, a broader scope as what we have now. And uh, to, for that, uh, the tendency has been to try to find uh, international or regional uh, publishers rather than uh, Ronans. Um, uh, there are schools which have had such initiatives to create their own uh, uh, journals, but these have not been sustainable. Uh, therefore, the tendency has been that everyone has to find an international journal, they would write and send and send again, they reject, uh, he, will find a, he or she will find another, another um, uh, journal to send to. Uh, so they, they, there was a kind of, uh, uh, I would say, discouragement among the people. Uh, and there was no hope that there could be a legal, uh, a, a legal forum, a, a national legal forum, where th such things could be uh, discussed. So, uh, when we launched this, even though we got a, a big number, uh, it is not the number that we, we wish to have. We would have expected more. We wish to have more than what we had. But also, in the, in the process, uh, the other challenge, which is actually a very big challenge, is that uh, you see as uh, the management of the journal, we are not the ones uh, to do all the things. So these articles, for them to be uh, academically publishable, they need to be academically acceptable. 
uh, meaning that they should be reviewed by the, um, uh, competent uh, or qualified academic uh, staff huh? or people academic when I say academic I, I mean I don't mean necessarily someone who works in the academic I, I, I mean someone who has the qualification required so uh, it was not very easy from uh, at the beginning to get uh, uh, to get people to review these uh, these articles. Well, first of all, they were not uh, those that we wanted, but also because of that uh, thirst, some would even uh, uh, send articles that are not really ready uh, for uh, uh, to meet the, the, the minimum standard. So uh, I, I would, in, in summarizing, I think I, I, these are the, the main challenges that we have uh, encountered in the process. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no bushaka shatsi buri bwa mategeko mu mategeko no kuba ngo niyo mpamvu nta mafoto dushyiraho ubone bitabo byinshi yaba cyangwa se za article article cyangwa se article cyo kuba yivuga mu kinyarwanda ariko ni 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 inyandiko y'ubushaka shatsi y'ubushaka shatsi if you have a photo, I'm going to be taking it. I hope 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 I'm to uh, inyandiko ya mbere uh, irimo muri 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 jano inyandiko ya mbere ni uh, ni wahoze ri chief justice eh? cyangwa se wahoze ayobora urwego uh, rw'ubucamanza <coughs> iriya iragenda ikerekana uko uh, ikerekana uko reforme zagiye zibaho reforme ngirango murabyumva icyo bisobanura uko reforms zagiye zibaho guhera muri 2024 mu, mu rwego rw'ubutabere rw'ubucamanza kugeza uyu munsi zikerekana noneho nicyo izo reforme za zagezeho so urwo nirugero rumwe mbahaye ariko ntabwo ari rwonyine urumva muri ziri akoresheje tatu hari zindi zivuga icyo ibijyanye ni ni koresha ikora na buhanga mu bijyanye na 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 process yo kubyara nabyo hari hari tekire ibivugaho noneho kureba icyo amategeko abiteganyaho nicyo byahindiye mu mategeko cyangwa cyo amategeko agombye kubiteganyaho so ibi byose rero ni ibintu nk'icyo ndi kintu gishyashya par exemple igitari cyarandizweho mbere nicyo rero kiba kigamijwe kugira ngo abantu barebe kuko iyo uje gukora ubushakashatsi ntabwo ubushakashatsi buri yabitandukanye nibindi abantu bavuga iyo uje gukora ubushakashatsi ukora ubushakashatsi ku kintu utekereza yuko the board kiri kibazo ukongera ugashaka kugishakira igisubizo nuvuga ngo ugishakira igisubizo ntabwo ari kuvuga ngo ugiye kugikemura ahubwo no kwerekana uburyo dabor ari ikibazo ukerekana no buryo cyagombye gukemukamo ibyo rero nibyo bagiye bakora eh eh mu yego murakoze cyane iki gitabo kugeza ubu ngubu ni mu cyongereza kizaye gisoka mu cyongereza kugeza ubu ngubu ariko nkuko twababwiye ni mwitangira kandi intangiriro yose murabizi ko atari kintu cyoroshye yenda muri muri mu gihe kizaza hari giye abantu bashaka kuzategeza no kwandika no muzindi n'imisemeye mu Rwanda kuko nkungu ubuhumbu nk'ibyo nya kwa ministere yababwiraga hari nk'ibyo hari hajaho amategeko amategeko avuga ku bintu bitandukanye ariko muri amategeko gusanga abanyarwanda da boro ntabwo bazi ibi yarimo hari nibiba biya irimo bikeneye ubusesenguze kuvuga ati nkiri tegeko haraho ribogamye cyangwa se haraho ridasobanutse ndi hakwiye kuba haba ikinike ariko rese nibyo ngibyo hari nibijyanye ni imanza zibazaciwe imanza zibazaciwe aha ni mu bindi bihugu y'imanza zaciwe habaho icyo bita commentaries cyangwa se commentaire no 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 kugira icyo abantu babivugaho eh baka 
ikutanga ibitekerezo ariko bijyanye n'amategeko ntabwo ari ari bitekerezo bivuye hari hose bakavuga bati urubanza rwaciwe neza kubera impamvu ya mbere ya kabiri ya gatatu ya kane urubanza rwaciwe nabi kubera impamvu ya mbere ya gatatu ya kane icyo cyo bimaze icyo ngicyo gihe nuko abacamanza nabo bamenya bamenya ho bakoze neza naho bakoze nabi bigatuma banavugura nibyo bakora eh ara muri kugaruka no kukibazo cyawe uh, uh, <coughs> bishobotse yuko muri future byashoboka yuko twagira na na za commentaire mu Kinyarwanda cyangwa no no mu no mu Gifaransa nta cyabivuza ariko ibyo byose bisaba ubushobozi bisaba ubushobozi niyo mpamvu twahuje abafatanya bikorwa bose kugira ngo tukungura nibitekerezo tuzakomeza tubyungura nibitekerezo ku buryo aho bizaba ngombwa no muzindi ndimi mu zindi ndimi bishora gushoboka yuko cyasoka iki kitabo cyasoka no mu zindi ndimi ku kinyanya rero ni inshuro gisoka aha ngaha na baye nkubivugaho mbere uh, bitangira dutangiye cyo gitekereza muri 2018 ikifuzo cyari uko byibura ziba ebyiri ku mwaka nubundi turabyifuze ariko kwifuza no no kubibona ni ibintu bitandukanye kugira ngo bishoboke ntabwo urumva ntabwo ari nko gukora inkuru inkuru uh, isanzwe numo nabantu bagomba gukora ubushakashatsi bikemezwa nabashakashatsi bababona ko bikwiriye gusohoka mu muri uko ni ibintu bizajya muri za library mu bitamo muri za libraries cyangwa se mu isomero yabaze mu gihugu no hanze bigomba kuba bifite byuje standard runaka ibyo rero bizaterwa nabantu abantu babifitemo uruhare bose abantu mamere bafitemo uruhare nabandika aba kabiri babifite mu ruhare nababyakira aribo 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 twebwe aba gatatu babifite mu ruhare naba bisoma abo bose nkuko twabivuze barahari ariko ikijyanye na haraho biba ngombwa yuko haraho bigorana kubera yenda izindi inshingano nyinshi abantu baba bafite ku buryo kuba uyu munsi dusohoye ishu ya mbere muri 2022 kandi twarabitangiye muri 2018 kandi nta na hamwe twigaya ngo tutakoze neza ubwo niyo mpamvu mvuga nti ni ngombwa yuko ababifite mu ruhare bose babyugira ibyabo kugira ngo bizashoboke yuko ikifuzo cyacu kigishyirwa mu bikorwa nkuko tubishaka itemewe ntabwo twayisohora ntabwo twasohora inyandiko itemewe ku rwego mpuza mahanga niyo mpamvu nkuko mugenzi wanje professor Kamatari yabisobanuye hariza hariza norme hari hari iri ari norme cyangwa se amahame yibanze ugomba ku ugomba kuba wujuje ari kuri na bisaba none birana sabwa ukabibona hari dufite nimero ijyanye nabyo ntabwo rero twabikora bitemewe ku rwego mpuza mahanga Ubisomye ukabuvu guti yenda nko kujanya nuko i design inze ukabuvu guti ni biiz biari kuwa biiz ni chiz ari kwa yenda ahanga ha biari kuwa biiz kurusha ho yeye biari mzabiri ya uabibi uabibi chisha mu 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 muri wagenzi wa chuo kuri LPD munge go za chuo munge go dukora na za LPD na chivu zoba ba ba bige zawa kumbuka bige zawa kujia ni na contenti kujia ni na content uaba fite ichivu zoka kuri content dabor bivaza biumvi kana yuko buri buri mwanditsi ni proprietor kiangu ni niri nyandiko tu kubge ngajano tu ri proprietor wa wa journal ariko buri mwanditsi nawe ni proprietor wa jan wa 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 writing ye cyangwa se winyandiko ye nuba ngo wanditse article runaka wanditse kuri tax wanditse kuri president iyo ni nyandiko ni ye ntago yabuza yuko mwabitubwira mukavuga ati aha ngaha yari kuba yabikoza cyane arya nta kibazo ariko nawubwe nawubwe yabigira mu ruhare nawubwe yabimenyeshwa ntacyo bitwaye ni discussion nubundi ibi ibi ibintu bya ibintu bya mategeko ntambwo ari nka za principe zimwe na zimwe zo muri physique aho uvuga kuti principe ya gravité nuko nta kintu na kimwe ki nuko imeze nta gihinduka aho uko yabivuze wowe nkundi munyamategeko ushobora kuvuga kuti ntambwo nemeranya nabyo 
hari uburyo rero bubiri ubwo navuze bwa mbere bwo kubikora ubinyujije mu kumubwira cyangwa se kubwira n'inzego zacu ariko hari n'uburyo bwo kubichallenginga nawe mu nyandiko nuva ngo uri mu nyamateyo ukavuga kuti nti nako bigenda parallele nuva ngo mu nyandiko yawe ukavuga kuti kanaka yavuze ibi ariko muri sesengura ryanje ngiye mbona byakabaye biba ibingibi ya murakoze namwe jano izakomeze yego abira ko ari byinshi yagiye yagarara Rakoze cyane nabaza nka bibwira nitwa Kayura mu Gande dasi nkaba ndi umuyobozi wa YLPD nkuko mwabyumvise mu bigana twagize ikintu cyari kiduhangayikishije uburyo umuntu yajya gukora nko umushinga abanza kwigira ku yari hasanzwe akareba icyatumye nanirwa dusuzumye rero twicaye nk'abari bateguye umushinga wo gushyira ku Rwanda Roger no twasanze hari izindi zari zigeze zibaho no bwenda zari ku rwego nk'urwayo ariko nazo zarananiwe none tubanza kwiga kubera iki zananiwe dusanga haraburaga ya sustainability nkuko mwabyumvise mu biganiro dushakisha buryo ki noneho iba on kuko akenshi usanga ziratangira jya no zigashingira ku mushinga cyangwa zigashingira kuki mbere na mbere mbere yuko tubona abatera nkunga twiyemeza ko nka YLPD kuko biri muri ko mandate yacu mu mission yacu yemeza ko ijyano izagigira allocations cyangwa bije kugira ngo twabone umutera nkunga tutamubona iyo jyano yo ikomeze icyakabiri nkuko mwabyumvise gituma jyano zizimwe na zimwe zicike intege no kubura aba publishing aba bandika nkuko mwabikurikiranye nda bamwe muri mwe twagiye ERPD twatanye umushinga wo gukorana bya hafi n'abafatanya bikorwa cyane cyane ama university kwara yasuye hafi ya yose cyane cyane yigisha ibyo mategeko tujye ibyo tuganiraho mu mwuga wacu ariko tunabakangura ko ibyo bakora bikwiye kumenyekana barakora ubushakashatsi ariko nti bumenyekana bajya gu publishing hanze abo hanze nda nti banabaye interesse nti babigiramo nti nabikunde kobera ko ntabwo bivuga ibyabo ariko twebwe dufite aho twavugira ibyacu nuko ngo twatekereje ko uh, Rwanda Lodge no yajyaho kandi kaba sustainable kuko ifite abashakashatsi twabyemeranyijeho ariko dufite twaniyemeje ko mu bijyanye na no ubushobozi mu buryo bwa mafaranga kugira ngo yajyane igisoko kuko tubyifuza bizahoreho ariko hagataho dufite n'imishinga yo gufatanya nabandi hari deja batangiye kutwereka ko hari jano zo hanze nkitwa publishers nkaze twa Juta yo muri Afrika yepfo nizindi zirimo kutugaragariza ubushake bwo kuba twafatanya ku buryo yenda n'ikiguzi kizahenduka ku buryo bizatuma sustainability ishoboka bisa n'icyo nayimaze gusobanura mu kanya ubushobozi bwo ubwo kugira ngo buri mwaka haje hasoka ebyiri volume ebyiri ubwo turabufite twarabwiyemeje ariko ikindi yenda guseringa nko ro bivuze guseringa iyi twiyemeje ko isi ya mbere ni ya kabiri donc iyi yasotse ni ya kabiri nko ubu twasohoye amakopi igihumbi icyo gihumbi cyose turagiye abafutanya bikorwa bacu namwe murimo babone ubwiza bwabyo babyoherwe nubwo bwiza ariko bumve nakamaro kabyo ndetse na isi ya kabiri tuzayitanga ku buntu ni igishoro ari igishoro cyo mu bwenge no kugira mu abayisoma babumve ubwo bushakashatsi nakamuro kabyo bumve impamvu yabyo niki noneho nyuma yaho tuzatangira kugira ntabwo nababwira ngo tuzagurisha dute yijano ariko deja twamaze kuganira n'abafutanye bikorwa batandukanye inyiko ushinja cyaha urugaga inzego nka ministere za ministere zifitaho zuhurira namategeko ni ibigo bindi nka police investigation bureau rcs ni bindi twagiye tuganira nyuma yaho bazajya biyabonesha na za kaminuza birumvikana ama bibliothèque atandukanye bazajya biyabonesha ku kiguzi ntaramenya uko kizaba kingana ariko byo byose kizaba gihari First of all, you should know that ILPD is a, in short meaning, Institute of Legal Practice and Development of Law, of course. And now, you cannot think about developing the law without carrying out research. And you cannot carry out research and 
keep it with yourself. You carry out research and you make it known. And that is our, uh, 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 as I read it out to you in the, uh, in the event, our mission in Article number three, Article three of our law, uh, point three says we have the mandate to carry out research, but also disseminate the law. One of the ways to disseminate the law is like the one we've done. We present to you what we've come out with, in like the Rwanda Law Journal, with all the articles they are involved, and talking about different fields, talking about different issues. So uh, launching was, first of all, to make it public, to make it known to all the stakeholders as you saw them, so that they may not only contribute uh, by publishing through the journal, but also become our consumers read out, buy out the, the journals as uh, published and read the content. So that was the main event. First is to make it known that for the first time now in Rwanda we have gotten a Rwanda Law Journal where we are going to be discussing as intellectuals, as legal fraternity, discussing about the issues that uh, our society is facing and yeah, uh, inviting them as we did, inviting them to contribute but also to uh, read uh, our produce. What's the impact? The impact is, of course, going to be, as we clearly said it, it is going to be having two kind of parts, major parts. One is publishing the research journal articles, but the other one is the commentaries on court judgments. What is, the, you may automatically understand what would be the impact of those commentaries, is that the judge who will be judging will be expecting if it is a poor judgment, you will be expe expecting feedback. People, the uh, legal practitioners, uh, authors will be discussing it and publishing it in journals. Now, you cannot uh, imagine if you are the judge and you pub uh, uh, publish your judgment and it is the one that is going to be commented upon, not positively, but negatively. People will be reacting on it and it will be known. So judges will be more conscious about what they are, what they are going to do if they are going to rule on a case, they should be more than diligent than they have been. And so the impact will be that judges will work so hard, but also authors will be contributing to the improvement of the legal system, the workings of the legal system by, through the publication therein. In terms of sustainability, what are you planning to do to, to make sure that this journal comes out? Yes, uh, I had said it earlier in Kenya, Rwanda, uh, we, before even launching it, we thought about sustainability in two ways, and we thought majorly sustainability is ensured by being able to have the resources, uh, financial resources, but also being able to have contributors, those who will be uh, contributing to the journal in terms of authoring uh, uh, articles. And so before we even launched it, we reached out to all our key stakeholders, especially within the justice sector, and they all had to buy in, and then we've launched it. Now, we have ensured that journal publication must be provided for in our annual budget, but two, we've gotten those contributors who will be coming from universities, from law society, the Rwanda Bar Association, from the judiciary, from prosecution, investigations bureau, from national police, whoever has to do with the law has bought in, and they are all ready. If you you had a chance to check the contributors in this. They are various. We have one from the Rwanda Investigations Bureau, uh, our former Chief Justice, that is from the judiciary. We have one from the Law Society, the actual two, who is now in one in private sector, who is a legal officer in one of the banking institutions. So it is open to all, and that's what assures us that the sustainability is guaranteed. Taken to make sure that it is registered and it has uh, 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 the number, mm -hmm. and that is the way the first step. And of course, the second will be kind of like finding other means. And, and of course, if you, you know, I think it's the responsibility of everyone. I'm glad you have this website. You can check if you see anything. Please let us know because you know everything online is hard to control and check so if there is anybody kind of sees anything or like that predator, so please let us know so that you can find the best approach to, uh, to keep protecting even further but we assume that the first step of having this number ISSA number is the first step to make sure that it's registered so that no other Rada law journal can appear anyway except this one so that's, that's the first step thank you very much
very much, Professor Kanten. Uh, I believe uh, the panelists have taken all the questions uh, so far. I, I would like to invite again uh, the Rector Ayal Bidi to give us a perspective of what we are doing here and uh, where we are. Thank you so much, Honourable Minister. Um, and our guest of honor, you've uh, found us discussing. This was uh, the plenary session where uh, discussion where discussions were taking place, and uh, re uh, the audience was reacting to um, the presentations made earlier by both the chief editor, Dr. Etienne Vivana, who is on your left, and uh, Professor Kamatari. Uh, member of the advisory board, uh, who had presented about uh, the Rwanda Law Journal and how it came about. And uh, uh, the participants here uh, from different institutions, begin with uh, uh, then the Director of uh, Democracy and Governance from USAID, who is sitting uh, just uh, right to your right. And others are from the uh, National Public Prosecution Authority, UR, CS, RNP, RIB, uh, RFA, and the uh, Royal Reform Commission, uh, Parliament from both chambers. We have one of senator there with us, and uh, from the lower chamber. Uh, Ministers, of course, uh, RBA, RBA. Uh, love in Iraq, uh, IPs, Judiciary, UNK, UOK, Ajepodo, Greed, Ines, Musande, Winter Negotiation Commission, CNRJ, Ombudsman's Office, EU, and uh, that chambers, I hope I do not uh, miss out anyone. And of course, the media fraternity that is here present. We, we are uh, briefly uh, discussing about uh, the Rwanda Law Journal with uh, the two presenters took us through how it came about and uh, the journey for them. And uh, you just found us uh, kind of concluding the discussion phase. And with this, I give back the mic to the MC. Thank you very much, Dr. ILPD. Uh, at this moment, I would like to invite the uh, USAID uh, representative um, the Director of Democracy and Government Office uh, for his remarks. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister, Director, uh, Editor-in-Chief, and Professor. Um, thank you very much also to all of the esteemed uh, judges, prosecutors, lawyers, all of the people that we just heard uh, have shown up today. I want to really express uh, my pleasure and the pleasure of USA to be here today and launch the Rwandan Law Journal. The United States of America is extremely pleased to fund a three-year Rwanda legal capacity building project. The project's goal is as straightforward as its name. By enhancing the legal skills and knowledge of judges, prosecutors, and lawyers, Together, we can strengthen the rule of law in Rwanda and encourage greater public confidence in the judicial system. To accomplish this goal, this USAID project focuses on two key objectives. First, strengthening the capacity of members of the justice sector to consistently and effectively uphold the written law. And second, empowering and assisting law professors and legal scholars to conduct targeted research to develop course books on Rwandan law and to launch the law review that we see here today. Today's launching ceremony is an important milestone in achieving these objectives. The primary function of a law review or law journal is to publish scholarship in the field of law. Law reviews publish scholarly comprehensive treatments of subjects, articles, generally written by law professors, judges, or legal practitioners, as well as shorter pieces commonly called notes and comments, written by law students, members of the law review. Law review articles often express the thinking of specialists or experts with regard to problems with current law and potential solutions to these problems. Historically, law review articles have been influential in the development of the law 
They have frequently been cited as persuasive authority by courts and hence strengthening the overall rule of law. And the rule of law is, of course, indispensable to a thriving and vibrant society. It protects people from arbitrary government action. It allows businesses to enter into contracts. It gives innovators protection for their discoveries and also for articles that they may publish. It keeps people safe from dangerous criminals. And it allows us to resolve differences peacefully through reason and logic. The rule of law is not just about written precepts. It depends on the vigilance and character of individual men and women who faithfully implement it. The enforcement mechanism is crucial. So let me thank you all for participating in this event today. I'd like to reiterate that the work that you all do is vital to building and maintaining the rule of law, and I'm honored to have had the opportunity to meet you today and participate in the launch of the Rwandan Law Journal. I'd also like to thank the Rector, uh, Dr. Diaze Kaihura, Minister of Justice, Justin Busingier, and the government of Rwanda for engaging in these types of partnerships to continue to strengthen the rule of law in Rwanda. As well, I'd like to thank our joint partners in the project, the Ohio Northern University, Pettit College of Law, and Professor Jean-Marie Kamatali for all time and diligent work done to bring us to today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Office Director USAID. Um, at this point, I would like to invite uh, the Minister of Justice and Attorney General for the official launching of the Rwanda Law Journal. Rector, uh, IMPD, distinguished leaders from uh, Institutions represented here, the representative from the USID, um, all protocols observed. Good morning. Um, today is uh, a very important day for us, for I believe for all of us who are in the room and the institutions we do represent. Uh, when the rector some while ago approached me and invited me to speak at this lounge, I had many things that I was thinking about after that. But most importantly, I was humbled that we as a country have realized this. Because there are many things we have been able to realize, um, and this comes to fit into this process. So I was humbled at the realization that we are here also. I accepted uh, quickly this uh, request. I also accepted to preface this journal uh, and also to try and participate here at this uh, event, depending on how much time time allowed me. Uh, this journal comes you know, at its time. It reflects the evolution of the legal profession of the rule of law, of the, our legal system, from a poor and narrow setting around and before 1994, to a rich, broad, and active stakeholder in the country's development today. Our journey in building this profession this legal system, the rule of law, has involved distinguished men and women who aim to see change and progress. They have been in office at different times, they have succeeded each other at different times, but I think they all shared one goal, to see 
growth, change and growth. <coughs> I want to thank them all without naming them because I believe there are many here and out of here because of their tireless contribution and transmission of their commitment in the shaping of the legal profession, of the legal system, of the rule of law. And I want to believe that each of us seated here is part of this journey. It is not the old people who did something and left. It is all of us. When we enter, we make this contribution. When we leave, someone else takes on the bottom. This journal comes to fill gaps. The presence of such intellectual forum of lawyers, including researchers, scholars, practitioners, sharing their work, sharing their beliefs, sharing their opinions, contributes immensely to intellectual growth, but also answers lingering questions or debatable issues our respective institutions in their daily work might hold. Mm -hmm. So in many ways, these journal law reviews provide another source of information, another source of argument, another source of interpretation uh, in addition to what we already have. For ILPD, this is another milestone. You know, IMPD has been around not for too long, but has been registered in milestones as we watch slowly, 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 but very steadily. In addition to training, which is their main preoccupation, now dissemination of laws through publication of law reviews and different articles joins the queue of things that IMPD delivers. So thank you very much, IOPD, the rector is here, and the team. Thank you very much for making us aim for the moon. If we fail to reach the moon, at least we will settle with the stars. <laughs> <laughs> However, please ensure that this publication is sustained. The beginning is very good, and we want to be sure that it will be sustained. We now look forward to reading the next issue. I have been told uh, that it will come, be coming out at least twice a year. To colleagues in the profession, I request that all of you present here and not present here, but following this process, that we should take this advantage and share our opinions share our expertise, share our work through this journal. It is our forum. It doesn't belong to ILPD. ILPD is simply organizing it and simply playing as a custodian, but it belongs to all of us to make contributions from our respective backgrounds and institutions that we serve. The government will continue to support ILPD in fulfilling its mission including this mission. <coughs> Permit me to sincerely thank you, USID, for supporting the development and publication of this first issue, for traveling with us on various other journeys as we build the rule of law and our legal system, and for allowing our imperfections as we build towards our perfection. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being a good partner. It's now my honor to officially launch the Rwanda Law Journal. It's now, uh, I'm told that once I say that, it's now uh, launched. So I officially launched it. And I thank you all, each of you, for your kind attention, for your interest, and for your support, and for your future contributions to this channel.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Minister of Justice and Attorney General. Um, at this point, I would like to announce that we will proceed uh, to go and take a group photograph. I'm told that it will happen downstairs, but we have protocol people right outside this room who are there to direct all of us to the exact place where we will take this photograph. And lunch thereafter. So please, we just proceed outside and there will be people to direct us to where we're supposed to take the photograph. So, yeah, thank you. Very you're good? Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you get your coffee? Mm. I got a coffee early in the oh. morning. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. So, uh, got a second one. Maybe I'll get <laughs> some. I'll get, I'll get it at some point. Yeah. It's going to be a customer reservation. Yeah, we need, we need that. And it was so very, very, very happy. It's been a while, actually. Uh, I hear about you. I'm always coming. Yeah, I've been saying hi. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I know, I always hear a first time I say hi, but then my days are like, but then, yeah, but I'm, I did that. Yeah.